today's video is made possible by audible.com. Audible.com has over 150,000 downloadable titles across all different types of genres. For your free book, head over to audible.com forward slash tomorrow. Good morning, kitties, and welcome to another edition of the Tech of Tomorrow show. You guys can forget about those cartoons, forget about those cornflakes, because we've got tech for your Saturday morning. And what have we got today? The Windforce edition of Gigabyte of the new R9290X in its full review format. That's right. So if you folks have been following the channel, you may have seen the unboxing. If not, we'll have the unboxing right here for you folks out there who likes to know what comes in the box. We've already done that. So now let's jump in. Let's talk about the specs and how this card runs. Let's go. Let's first off talk about the dimensions of the card. The card is 11.6 by 5.6 by 1.6 inches. We'll also have this translated into metric for you folks as well. Now, one of the biggest things about this card is that it's GPU clocked is overclocked. It's got a 40 megahertz overclock out of the box coming into the market at 1040 megahertz. Features 2,816 stream processors, 1,250 megahertz memory clock, 512-bit memory interface, 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Flip it around to the rear I.O., 2 DVI, standard display port, standard HDMI. Nothing too unusual there. The card also has a single 6-pin and a single 8-pin power connector on the side of the card for the folks out there interested in that information as well. Now, the biggest, biggest difference about this card, obviously, is the wind force cooling. Now, you guys all know when the original 290Xs came out, they were hotter than hell, they were noisier than hell, and everybody agreed we either need a better cooler or we need a liquid cooler. Well, if you folks out there who know about wind force technology, this is their own cooling solution by the people at Gigabyte, and it works very, very well. Now, if you folks out there are curious about our test system, you guys want all of the specs, we have two ways you can do that. You can either check out the video, which I have right here, or you guys can check out the link down below. We'll have the full specs listed out. Now, with that said, though, let's jump in and let's rock out with our sock out and let's check out the scores of the new R9-290X from Gigabyte. Folks, so there you guys have it, the full scores and everything about this card. Now, performance-wise, we're not seeing all that much of an increase beyond the normal AMD 290X that came out of the market. But what we are seeing is massive, massive decreases in the heat. And you've got to take something in consideration. This card is actually overclocked 40 megahertz out of the box. And that's really pretty much as far as you can push it unless you want to start getting into extreme heat. Now, the reference 290X, when it was under full load, it was at 94 Celsius. Really hot. Gigabyte card, however, is only 68. So that's a major, major difference. 94 to 68, that's night and day. It keeps it cool. It's overclocked right out of the box. And it's not as noisy. And I also want to talk a little bit about that. We are going to be bringing you guys a shootout. And we'd like to hear you guys' comments about doing a shootout between the 780 Ti from MSI featuring twin frozer cooling and this card featuring the wind force. So that's pretty much it, folks. You guys have seen the card. Right now, it's actually a bit pricey. But I do think the price are going to go down because we've seen the 
Bitcoin thing actually shot up, but now it's the whole Bitcoin dynamics changed. So I imagine prices are going to be going down. But for pricing, availability, all that stuff, make sure you guys check out the link down below the like button in the description. We'll have all that stuff about this card. One thing though, before I bounce out of here, I want to give special thanks to Audible for making this video possible for supporting the channel. Now, I don't know if you guys know what Audible out there is, but audible.com is really cool. If you don't have time to sit and read books all the time, but you still like the information, audible.com allows you to actually listen to the books. Now, Iron Man is a book by Tony Iron from Black Sabbath, and it's really cool. I don't really have a whole lot of time to read, but this is just something cool. Iron Man talks about the very beginnings of Black Sabbath, you know, all their drugs, their debauchery, all the crazy things that they did to become Black Sabbath. And Rolling Stone actually called these guys the Beatles of heavy metal. And I kind of agree with that. Black Sabbath to me is the birth of true heavy metal. And being able to listen to the book through audible.com is actually really cool. If you guys are interested in that, I'll have that down below. I know a lot of my fans out there are totally into the heavy metal and stuff like that. You guys can actually jump in and you can get this for free right now. So you guys can go over to audible.com forward slash tomorrow, begin your little trial membership, and you can get this Iron Man book by Tony Iommi and listen to it for yourself. I think it's a really good listen, pretty funny, pretty interesting, and I think you'll be interested. I'm Eric from Tech of Tomorrow. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Hey, if you like this video, we always appreciate it if you hit that like button. All the information, like usual, about this will be down below in the description, and we'll see you back here on the channel for more videos soon.